Willkommen, Freunde der analogen Unterhaltung, zurück in unserem Livestream. <lacht> Diesmal mit der Firma Devir, die uns äh, Barcelona mitgebracht haben. Außerdem ist der liebe Matt hier, äh, der leider kein Deutsch spricht. And so we will switch to English because they're not speaking German. <lacht> Thank you. Uh, and we have <lacht> Barcelona, the Rose of the Fire. Tell us about the game. Well, so the basic premise of, of the game is Barcelona was growing like crazy in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. um, people were, were running to take advantage of the job opportunities and the, the older families there were making lots of money from textiles and international trade. Mm -hmm. But the city was enclosed in, uh, in medieval walls and it was causing a lot of unrest and people were cramped in and they needed to create space. Okay. So the Spanish government said, okay, we're going to give you this, this area called, I can't pronounce it in Catalan, but it's <laughs> the, the, ex the example, and they could, they could carve out a niche of the city and develop it. Okay. So the older families, the people with money, decided, okay, we're going to have a, a race almost to build the most opulent and prestigious buildings. And they do that in order to earn some prestige points. Okay. okay. So that's how, how it incorporates in the game. This is the goal of the game, getting yeah. the most prestige points. Mm, thing. Al almost. Okay? Almost. So, right. so, so you're actually wanting to get the most victory points. Yeah? Okay. Um, but also during this time, you, you, you had to manage the workers and give them places to live because if you didn't, they would start to revolt and cause strikes and there was even... Okay. A, yeah, even, I see that here actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there was even a, a bomb plot uh, to bomb the theaters and things like that. So okay. if you're not careful, if you're not careful, the workers will revolt mm -hmm. and you have to give them places <coughs> to live. That okay. sounds pretty interesting. It, yeah, it is. It's a very well balanced game. The, the designer, by the way, is uh, Francisco Napatello. We okay. did War of the Ring. Yeah, uh, nice. So, uh, and Marco Maggi also. They're two of the three designers. Cool. So, good. Good stuff. So um, a brief overview of a player turn. Yeah, okay, so what's going to happen? Would you hand me a couple of city cards, please? Uh, I know that these are these. Yep. All right. Okay, so we're Here each we go. going to get dealt a city card at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. And this will tell yeah, us what we're allowed to do in terms of building. Okay. okay. So, for example, uh, on this card here, it says that uh, I have to play a purple tile and I can either build a, uh, a three-pointed structure or a, a one-pointed structure, which is a house, okay. for, uh, house for really rich people, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right. what I would do is I would take a pink tile and place it at one of the pink starting points, okay? And the dotted lines represent districts for uh, different pink districts in points. the cities, mm -hmm. yeah? And then I, I could choose one of these two structures. So let's say I'm going to uh, build a, a house for one of the okay. wealthy families. So right. every player has the same pieces? Uh, yes, All yes, right. okay. There, there are different kinds of houses. There's the four-point structure, which is uh, like an apartment building for workers. Okay. okay. Then there's the kind of upper middle class building with three points. points. Uh -huh. uh, there's a, a middle class point building with two points. Okay. And then the, the single family dwelling. Okay, okay. Now, I understand. Yeah, so what happens is after I build, um, and each, okay. Each turn is going to take uh, <coughs> consist of five phases, and there are three turns, um, or three, ra three rounds, I should say. I'm going to start here, and this will tell me how many workers I have to house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I put um, I put uh, the single-family housing, which means that um, I'm only going to be able to to put one one person in the house, and the rest of the, of the workers have to go into the the slum. The, okay. Uh, yeah. The, the now, if I get too many workers in the slum, then they're going to start to revolt. Oh. And that's when we, it, uh, when it goes over the five, that's when we start to have problems. Okay. okay. Um, this number is always the same, or it, 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 does it depend on the player count? Uh, I, 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 I've only played with four people. Okay. So it's, I think it's recommended for four, but I think you can play pretty well for three as well. How many or players two, does it uh, play? It's two to four. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. And it takes about uh, 90 minutes per game. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> they need to revolt or not? Um, no, they're not. They're good because. Uh, they, they didn't go over the five, which is okay. the, the revolt number. Yeah, um, and then you could play play buildings to. Let's say I did I did this and I wanted to play an apartment building. Okay, then I would only have to put one of the workers here, and I'm still still okay. Now if okay. I go over, there's a bag in here. We take a bag with some policemen. Okay, ah. and we're gonna mix the bag with the workers and the policemen and, and pull some out at random. Okay, and uh, and depending on the outcome. Uh, either bad things or really good things could happen. You could you could lose prestige points because you, you actually start uh, here at one. Oh, you could go into negative. This is a prestige point area. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Prestige point area. Um, if, Which is pretty nice illustrated actually. If yeah. You, uh, look the, around it. Yeah. The uh, 
the graphic design took a, a year. Oh, nice. Right. Just was complete, right. and the okay. game design took two years. Cool. So, yeah. Um, so basically, that's the way you count your victory points at the end. You're going to score every two phases, okay. and uh, and and whoever has and you score by getting prestige. There are some cards that give you uh, victory points, and that's kind of the basic. I'll leave the, leave the rest of it to you to, to enjoy it. Yeah? Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, this is only flavor text in the cards, so so. Well, the, yeah, on the on the city cards, yeah. But if you if you look at some of the popularity cards, um, sometimes you're going to score prestige points, and that'll give you popularity, or it'll give you. Uh, Oh. Yeah, or prestige or so forth. And no way. Yeah. They look really nice. Oh. Let's see them over here again. I wish I could take credit for it. But <laughs> <laughs> so actually, this is a player board. You see here, then these are the population cards, uh -huh. which are pretty nice. And Popularity uh, cards. Popularity cards, sorry. Yeah. And uh, the prestige cards. Which are super buildings in this yeah. case. And when you score, you're gonna, you'll actually score fewer points for building the... Uh, so this is how it balances out. You get fewer points uh, for building the, the workers' apartments than All you right. would if you build the opulent building that gets you, you, okay. know, gets you fame Good. and so forth. But you have also other games with you. I do, yeah. I have two other ones. Um, let's start with Holmes, Sherlock and Mycroft. Okay. okay. This one uh, is just launching in Europe right now. Um, it's a two-player game, yeah. and uh, basic, the basic idea is Sherlock and Mycroft are competing to solve a mystery. Yeah. And, okay. uh, <laughs> and the first one to, to get all the clues, or to get the right clues, and, and, score, and score points is the winner. It's a set collecting and worker okay. placement game. I uh, think, was it there last year as well? Uh, we showed a prototype last yes, year. Actually. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what, one thing I like about it is, is the design on this one is great too. The artwork, yeah. it, it opens up just like a book. Mm -hmm. And then here's the game board. Ah, cool! Yeah, That's a game board. yeah. And so what happens is you, you'll go and visit different characters in the Holmes world, and uh, and they'll they'll allow do different things, allow you to like get oh, inspection right. tokens that you you can use to collect clues and so forth. Really cool. It's yeah, it's really, really fun. fun. Uh, and okay, there are two questions. So uh, the other games you presented, are they are multilingual? Is there a German version available or is it only available in English? Okay, for now everything's only available in English. But right. From what I understand, uh, Cosmos is going to take Holmes yeah. and launch it at Nuremberg next year. Okay. So, uh, so that's a done deal. Okay. Uh, we're still working on uh, international rights for Barcelona. Okay. Uh, but uh, we have certainly, that's one of the objectives here is to secure those rights for lots of different languages. Are there special rules for two player for? Yeah, this no, one? no, it's a, it's it plays pretty much the same. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's a good for two player because you said there. What is it? It's a it's a big difference. Or it's a smaller board, or is um, you play with the whole board as well? No, you still play with the same board and the same the same pieces. You're just using fewer characters, mm -hmm. and um, it's going to be a little bit more or less competitive to try and. So what happens here is you, you can score points by completing city blocks. Okay. And so, you know, there might be a lot more back and forth okay. than randomness if, if you were playing with, the, so with the three players. I would, I would say the more the merrier. I yeah, think I you. would say so. Okay. I'd, I'd say three players so is probably better. Zwei Spieler könnte wahrscheinlich nicht so sein. Das können wir noch rausfinden, weil äh, wir kriegen das noch irgendwann als Review Copy zugestellt. Und wir haben noch eins, was ich kurz zeigen muss, damit man es wirklich mal sehen kann, ah, weil ja. das ist Checkpoint Charlie. Und darum geht es, dass die Katzen von Ostberlin nach Westberlin sozusagen sich reinschmuggeln wollen und die Hunde sie aufhalten. Äh, ein kleines Deduktionsspiel. I read about it. That's why I'm talking about no, German. That's German. great. Uh, Go ahead, please. <laughs> and this, wer darauf Interesse hat, alleine der Titel ist auf jeden Fall was Süßes wert. Äh, und ist soweit ich weiß Language Independent. Yeah. Matt, thanks okay. for showing up. Thank you very much for having us. It was okay. really a pleasure. Uh, haben wir sonst irgendwelche Fragen? Alright, äh, dann werden wir die Sache wieder umbauen. Wir haben als nächstes, soweit ich weiß, Cottage Garden, äh, auch aus Berlin. Einer unserer Hörer und somit ein super Übergang. Berlin geht nach Berlin. Danke fürs Zugucken erstmal und äh, wir bedanken uns, dass du hier warst mit. Thank you. Ich wünsche dir noch einen schönen Wish Thank you a great fair. Oh, great. Thanks, Thanks a lot to you too. Bye.